Hello guys, this is Showman from Oil and Gas Field Quality Control. We will discuss today and know a little bit about a very well highlighted term in the oil and gas field. You know the source of oil and gas coming from the ground, which is a natural, uh, natural source of energy, which is hidden in most of the Gulf areas and all the oil fields. So how it comes out? It comes out from the ground when the oil rigging company, they drill a well. It comes out always through a controlled opening, which is termed as wellhead. In the top of the wellhead, there are some valve arrangement from where the connections coming out to take out the oil or gas. This is termed as oil people's Christmas tree. You can see in the picture of my thumbnail of the video. Uh, let us go through the difference first. What is wellhead and Christmas tree? Is it similar? And if it is different, what is the difference? The system of spools, valves and assorted adapters that provide pressure control of a production oil is termed as wellhead. During the well construction phase, the surface termination of a well bore that incorporates facilities for installing casing hangers. The wellhead also incorporates a means of hanging the production tubing and installing the Christmas tree and surface flow control facilities in preparation for the production phase of the well. So, wellhead and Christmas trees are two different pieces of equipment that have several similarities. For example, they are both vital to gas and oil production and they each have valves and other equipments that aids in the control and guidance of the flow of the gas or oil, whatever coming from the ground. Due to their similarities, they are often used as an interchangeable terms. However, these two pieces of equipment are not the same. If you see a oil head at the bottom and top, there is a Christmas tree in this picture. A well head is necessary to control the pressure during drilling and production. It is located on the surface of the well between the casing and the drilling floor, allowing safe and controlled access to a live well. The well head suspends the casing and uh, provides pressure seals for the casing stream. It supports the BOP, which is blowout preventer, means prevents an accident during drilling. The FRAC tree during completion and a production Christmas tree after completion. The oil head is present during the drilling, completion and production phases. Oil head assembly components into heads, hangers, spools and a series of seals. We will discuss it later on in a very brief way. A well head is necessary to control the pressure during drilling and production. Without a well head, you cannot utilize a Christmas tree. However, you can use a well head without a Christmas tree during drilling operation. Additional functions of well head include allowing safe and controlled access to a live well, serving as a point to suspend casing and tube strings, serving as a connection surface pressure control equipment. The Christmas tree and its five valves. Let us discuss the Christmas tree which is mounted over the wellhead. The Christmas tree's primary purpose is to control the flow of resources, typically oil or gas, into and out of a well during production. The Christmas tree arrives and it attaches to the wellhead after finalizing the drilling process. The Christmas tree is basically a series of valves, spools and gauges and chokes. So it has branches like a tree, so it is termed as the famous name Christmas tree. A total of five valves are included in a Christmas tree and each one is designed for a specific function. Keel wing valve. This valve injects the fluid like drilling mud or brine into the well to control the pressure. It is often used well interventions and maintenance activities to kill the well meaning to control the pressure and halt the flow of fluid. You see the keel wing connection on the schematics uh, drawing of the well head here. Swab valve. The swab valve is located at the top of the Christmas tree. Refer the picture please and provides access to the well 
for a wear line or coil tubing operation. This allows for well interventions, maintenance or logging without needing to kill the well. It plays a crucial role in maintenance and troubleshooting operation. Third one is production wing valve. This valve controls the flow of oil and gas from the oil to the production facilities. It can be opened or closed to start and stop production. It is also used to regulate the flow rate to optimize production and manage potential issues like sand production. Fourth one is upper master valve. The upper master valve is one of the primary isolation valve which can be completely shut off the well's flow. It's typically used in emergency situations to quickly and effectively halt the flow of oil and gas, providing a critical layer of safety and environmental protection. The last one is lower master valve. See, lower master valve is another primary isolation valve with functionality similar to the upper master valve. It provides redundancy, ensuring a backup is available to shut off the well. So, it is an additional isolation valve of the well. If the upper master valve fails for some reason, it will protect it. Having both upper and lower master valve gives operator more flexibility and enhances the safety measures. So the Christmas tree consists of five valves. Again, I am revising it. Kill wing valve to kill the pressure, swap valve, production wheel valve, upper master valve and lower master valve. Upper and lower master valve are double protection isolation valve. Production wheel valve is controls the flow of the oil and gas. Swap valve, we can start or stop the production also. This allows well intervention, maintenance or logging without needing to kill the well. Now, functions of a Christmas tree, let us discuss in little bit more detail. The basic functions are included oil intervention, pressure relief, chemical injection, tree and well monitoring points, flow composition and rate, valve and choke position feedback and connection points. Christmas tree providing all these services. Let us uh, discuss the types of oil head available in oil and gas field. Uh, basically, you can say the conventional well heads, compact well heads and the dual completions. The uh, conventional flanged well heads for applications that are focused on simplicity of installation, reliable field proven design and running tools, low investment, standard procedures and parts that are well known to all rig crews. Compact well heads for applications where priorities are set to improve safety, better well control and rig time saving. It reduces the open hole times and maintains well control due to hangar installation without removing BOP, reduction of overall BOP nipple down or nipple up times. Use of mandrel hangers reduces several steps, saves time, drilling of two or three phases in one go, the maximized safety, no operation underneath the BOP. And reduced number of connections, reduce potential leak paths. BOP means here blow off preventer. Installation service is recommended uh, for the compact well heads. Compact well heads are available in configurations such as unihead or splitted design with two, three or four stages, hub and flange connections, side outlets flanged or threaded, elastomer and metal annual seals, fluted mandel hanger. This is the dual completion type of well head. Tubing head and Christmas tree for a single well head that produces from two separate formation at the same time. It includes a dual tubing hanger to suspend two independent tubing string for production from two segregated zones and a dual Christmas tree. Dual completion tubing heads are designed with the same features as the single equipment but incorporate two alignment pins located 180 degree apart to ensure proper orientation of dual tubing hangers. All the photos collected from Google and it is only being used for education purpose. Now we will discuss the types of Christmas trees. 
two types of Christmas trees are available like conventional trees and compact trees. You can see in the photo. Left one is conventional and right one is compact. Christmas trees can be supplied in various designs, solid blocked version and stacked with single gate valves. The picture here shows a comparison between a conventional and compact tree. Both pictures have the same scale. So you can see the compact is volume wise and size wise is smaller. The compact tree has a solid block design which is dramatically reduces the complete tree height. This reduction determines considerable saving in environmental infrastructure when used on offshore specially. Some mandatory fittings and accessories which comes in the context of wellhead and Christmas tree. So let us have some basic idea. T's, crosses and elbows. You can see the photos here. Cross is pressure containing fittings with a minimum of four openings in a plane. T is pressure containing fitting with three openings in a plane, whereas elbow is a pressure containing fitting with two openings. Crosses, T's and elbows are provided in sizes from 2 and 1 16 inch to 7 and 1 16 inch with working pressures ranges from 2000 psi to 15000 psi. All crosses are manufactured by default and studded connections while other connection methods are available on request. Tree caps and tubing head adapter. Tree cap or top connector is the uppermost adapter of a Christmas tree which allows full bore access to the Christmas tree. Tree caps provide a fast and secure access to the bore of the Christmas tree and are available in all position bores up to 7 and 1 16 inch and trim AA-HH. Tree caps have a quick union design for the fast removal and reconnect of the nut. No hammering is required for getting a seal tight fit. Tubing head adapter. Lower adapter of a Christmas tree used to join the tubing head to the lowermost valve of the Christmas tree. Tubing bonnets are available as a transition piece between tubing head and Christmas tree and therefore is flanged, studded, threaded and clamp connections. Hangers. Casing hangers are available as slip type hangers where four or more slip wedges are supported in a bowl having a 45 degree landing shoulder. Alternative mandrel type casing hangers have a 45 degree landing shoulder and are designed to fit into the same casing head spools. Tubing hangers are threaded mandrel type hangers with 45 degree load shoulder, extended neck, tonguing space and BPV preparation. The mandrel hangers are available with API thread as well as with premium threads. Here are the valves being used in the wellhead and Christmas entries. Two types basically. Gate valve, a valve with a sliding gate closer mechanism used to shut off and seal any flow. You can see the basic parts of it. You can stop the slide and go in detail. And choke valve is a valve used to restrict the control, the flow of fluid or fluids maintain a desired pressure and flow rate. The last important topics here are the types of seal used in this system because controlling the pressure, stopping the flow, seals have a very important role. So types of seal we are using here is elastomer seals and metal seals. So elastomer seals and non-metallic seals, you can see the three types. You see SQ seal or hanger seal or casing seal. This SQ seal are square or rectangular shaped seal tough and able to seal machined surface as well as the rough surfaces. Its large cross sections are provide the ability to compensate also for larger gaps. Main applications are primary seals in tubing hangers and casing hangers. FS seal or casing seal which is on machine surfaces. The FS seal is available to seal safely under difficult sealing conditions like rough casing surfaces or large extrusion gaps. The special shaped seal face and the large flexible provide compensate the high API casing tolerances and provide a high sealing contact pressure. Main applications are secondary casing seal packings in conventional spools and casing pack offs in emergency hanger system. Third one is S seal or 
hanger seal or machine surfaces. These seals are designed for machine surfaces. The S seals have molded in metal backup rings for extrusion prevention. Ready use seal face uh, provides the high interference and easy installation. It is available as ID and OD seal. Main applications are annulus seal and hanger neck seals. The metal seals are two types, FDS seal and DWS seal. The FDS seal is easily installed without special tools and can also be replaced easily if necessary. It is unidirectional pressure energized seal for mid to high pressure and has only small space requirement. Main applications and double barrier flange seals in combination with standard API ring gaskets and mandrel hangers tubing hangers and neck seals. DWS seal is an annular seal which can be installed on machine surfaces and also works on rough casing surfaces. It is a bidirectional pressure energized seal which requires mechanical preloading. It can be pressure tested from the outside. Main applications are secondary casing seals in combination with slip hanger, mandrel hanger, tubing hanger seals, annular seal assemblies. There are two more metal seals here. MUS seal is a two-part metal seal which is intended to seal on machine surfaces like hanger necks. It is a bidirectional pressure energized seal which requires mechanical preloading. It can be pressure tested from outside. Main applications are primary and secondary seals on tube hangers and casing hangers. The last one is MTS seal. The advantage of MTS seal is the easy installation. It requires less space and less installation loads on API ring gaskets. The MTS seal automatically centralizes itself during installation and its shoulder works as an end stop. Main applications are bonnet and hub connection seals, tubing hanger neck seals. So guys, this is the end of our video. If you like the way of my teaching, please do not forget to subscribe my channel and hit the like button. And also, please share my channel to your friends and known. Signing off, Showman. Thank you.